texture, really, to it, and a lot of taste. A lot more taste than you'd expect. You'd think that the, the top of the parsley would have it, but not at all. When you shove it in there, look, see both colour, and, and you'll pick it up when, when you're tasting this thing. Do it just before you're going to serve it. And then throw in also another tablespoonful of fresh oregano leaves. Just, just pick the leaves up. This means that you've got to start growing a herb in your kitchen. And you say, that's too much for me. Oh, rubbish, you know. If you've got uh, any kind of room which faces south, uh, and if you've got a square house, I guess you've got something like that, that um, then just put a little pot out, margin, go and get a herb start thing and start it. Get it off and you'll be amazed. All right, so that's nice. Now, one thing that you've got missing from that is oil, frankly. And oil is where the classic forms. So what I've done here, I've taken a tablespoonful of arrowroot, of pure starch, the arrowroot. Mix it up with just a little water and then pour it down into the sauce here and stir it up. Now what happens here is, and it doesn't take much to get it stirred up and, and cleared away, is that it actually glosses it. It gives it the most, when that clears out, it gives it the most incredible gloss. And it, it, it's so glossy that you would, for all that you can imagine, you'd say, boy, that's got a lot of oil in that one. Um, but it doesn't have a spot. And so that is a very useful technique at the end. We'll get into that one later on, but as another technique. But there it goes. There's the sauce. Now, come through and we'll have a look and see how the numbers go, you know, in comparison with the classic uh, Italian sauce. And we can see how this one looks. It looks nice, it's crunchy, it's got a nice gloss on it and um, looks good. So, <coughs> I, I want to, in everything I do, Minimax, I'm going to put aroma and colour and texture into food. And, but let's compare this. Now, this is um, being compared with a classic Italian sauce, all right? And just the sauce, nothing else in it. So 178 calories, and this one then that we've just done is 66 calories. So you, well, there's something off the top. 14 grams of fat. This is where it's very important. This is down to one only gram of fat. And uh, uh, the amount of saturated fat that normally goes into it was two, and this one is a big fat zero. Um, so therefore, the source, which is 70% of its calories coming from fat in this case, I've got that to 16% of calories coming to fat, which is really good news. Um, there's zero cholesterol in both of them because they use monounsaturated oil. And the sodium is uh, 851, and that's down to only 33 because of the low-sodium products, if you can find them. And then the dietary fiber is 3. And we get on to more about fiber later on. Okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> um, so we're